What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man Theo Butler, and what is it? Throwback Thursday? Thursday? Throwback? Both of them start with T's. Okay, we're gonna talk about television, television networks to be specific. Black television networks to be even more specific. And all I'm gonna say is, you know, I'm gonna applaud us. You know, we got BET on by Viacom, um, Oprah Winfrey Network got that. Um, I think P. Diddy has his own station and everything like that. But Tyler Perry is, you know, part of Open Winter Network and everything like that. Question. Because it seems like this has to be a staple in just about every black network, whether it's radio or whether it's television. Sunday, we're going to get a good block of gospel music gospel or gospel programming. We're going to get a good block of that. Then we're going to get some shows, some dramatic movies later on in the daytime. On Oprah Winfrey, we got a whole show devoted towards it's, it. Clearly, it has a religious overtone to it, which is not bad. I just want to know when we going to do something else like BET. We've been at this thing for a minute right now. Why we don't have our own sports talk show? All these black athletes out here and we don't have one black sports talk show not one nfl season come on if i want to look at the nfl highlights i gotta go to espn or the nfl network y'all not even or oh, watch this i can click to the local news and get some information about the nfl during the course of the day i can't do that at bet bet i can't do that oprah Oprah, you really don't do us dudes no damn justice whatsoever. I swear, to, I swear on everything. You, this, this be one of the times I be talking about y'all really don't appreciate black men like y'all supposed to because y'all really don't. Y'all don't engage us at all. Oprah, I'm going to be real dead ass honest with you, Oprah. Oprah, there is not a damn thing on your program for us to watch. We're not part of your demographic. And I can't figure that out for nothing in the world. Anyway, I digress. I don't want to get on my soap bubble. I don't. BET, y'all don't, BET, oh, y'all don't have any of this. No cartoons, no co, no anything for kids. And when I say kids, kids should be able to turn on BET first thing in the morning and, and see some programming that's about us. They should. Same thing on Oprah Winfrey. Because we know it ain't necessarily there on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. We know it ain't necessarily, necessarily there on the Disney Channel. Why they can't turn to Oprah? First thing in the morning, I kid Dr. Phil. Really, Dr. Phil? He ain't even a damn doctor. <laughs> after school programming for our kids. Our kids really could do with some after school programming. You could have something like that. Back in the day, we used to have, mm, I miss you, Big Tigger. We had Rap City, the basement. We also used to, used to have, um, what was it? Damn. Dude that was doing the BET College Campus. Uh, dang, I forgot the guy's name. But we used to have him. Y'all remember? He was in the movie. Uh, yeah, he was in the basketball movie. Dad gummy. He was in the basketball. But the dude was good. Like, we don't have that. Like, there is no diverse programming on black channels for black people. BET, you don't have no excuse. Oprah, I'm just going to say you really don't. You really don't give a damn about us like that. But Tyler Perry, you there, you a whole ass dude. Like, in essence, diversify the programming. Can I get the cop show that ain't necessarily got something to do with a whole damn drama? Don't nobody want to watch soap operas all the damn time. And that shouldn't be your go-to programming. You're missing a whole lot of black folks like that. Because that's all you're doing. You got them soap opera shows on the Oprah Winfrey Network. And then you turn around, BET, y'all really got to get it together. Good Lord, because y'all ain't got no new programming right now. I do not know how hard it is to come up with programming that is going to thoroughly entertain black folks. Y'all want to show idea? Here we go. BT. Game show idea. Spades. Two teams. Two teams. Two teams. Two teams. Two on two. Electronically. They hit the they hit the thing. They see their cards. We at home see what the cards get, see what they got. But they don't see what they got. And they got to play it. 30 minute show. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome.
I ain't gonna keep y'all tied up. I just gave you a show, a show called Spades, electronically. You see it here at home and everything like that. I come up with a new show for y'all guys too and everything like that. But in the meantime, there you go. Also, bring back Rap City the Basement, please. B E T. Bring back Rap City the Basement. B E T and Oprah Winfrey Network. Sports programming. Action dramas. Not the drama with somebody cheating. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about because y'all have a whole genre. And the reason why I did this video was because y'all don't really have no superhero shows. Y'all don't have no superhero shows at all. Like, you don't have science fiction. You don't have action. And you don't have you know, no horror, no science fiction, no drama, no action. Like, but you going to give me all the religious program? I can, I can, I can tolerate all day long. You're going to give me all the backstabbing soap opera programs all day long. Really, you're going to give me everything that I could have got from CBS, Search for Tomorrow, NBC, Days of Our Lives, ABC, All My Children. See what I just did? Diversify. Make it better. I ain't going to hold y'all up. The six minutes, 15 seconds. Video went a little bit longer than what I thought, but y'all get the gist, right? Our programming... We ain't got to watch them other stations if y'all give us something else to watch, but damn. No cartoons, no science fiction, no action. None of that. No sports shows. No educational programming. That's crazy. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.